Hey guys. Okay, wait. This is close enough. How are you guys? Hi babe. Hi Bolti. There's not many objective ob objectives that I wanted to check out. Holy fuck, that's loud. This game is by no means short of giving you places to go. Like, what the fuck? Huge. Something's nearby. Where is it? Look <laughs> 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 you. Yeah. Hmm. Oh my god, and there's a lower area? Oh my god, it just goes on forever. Oh. It, ju it just goes on forever. Since I am this far, I might as well, right? I know. <laughs> I think it's really cute how he's always so astonished by her. There's an earth in here. Let's check this out. And then we'll do the little mini boss fight. Why am I deeper and deeper? The lift. Hmm. No, not boss fight. Uh, mini boss fight, I guess. You know, like the things that give you like uh. Or you spawn like specters and fight a bunch of them because they'll just drop you some loot. I'm not going in there unless I have to. You don't want to? I need to go down there. Okay. Never mind. Never mind, I guess. Nothing above me. Let's go do that little I call it little, but chances are like I could just mess up. So. Oh. Thank you. Hi, my dad gave me lunch. Let me open my drink. Okay. 
I'm hearing all this. Oh, never mind. That's just the thing about me. Yeah, I got a sandwich. I got a sandwich. All right, let's take this fight. Now would be a good time to speak a few words of power, just to be sure. Uh. I'm Show your this shape is, this is, flesh. Right? Look to me. Ah, you fuck. Uh, 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 fuck, get out. Did we miss a few? Oh, God. Oh, I can't dodge that, I see. Wrong person. Oh my god! I'm f fucking up. I can help. Pressing all the wrong buttons, guys. Can I join in too? Yes, ma'am. Ooh, ooh. 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 What the fuck? Away, away, away. Can I shoot it really quick? Hey, I need you. I'm right here, you know. Holy fuck. Those purple guys are literally so tough. Like actually. Whew. We did it though. Is a microphone oh maybe. I'm not sure. There shouldn't be a bunch more background noise though. It was just him handing me the food. BB enlargement feels facts. This still in the making. I don't have enough funds, you know. I'm a broke girl. What can I say? One time deal. Never go wrong with resources, baby. Okay. What's over here? Oh, uh, just a little right down. Okay. Let's check out this. Nothing, just the way back. I got told to stop swearing. Unfortunately, Twitch only pays me half, so. <laughs> but, still very grateful. I have to buy my tabs this month, or before the end of next month, so that's what that money will go to, towards my tabs. They are expensive. Hmm, should we go up? Or main quest? What do you think? Main quest? I think this is main quest over here. Or we go up. And check out this little ledge here. If I haven't already checked it out, because I don't remember. Okay. Just taking a sip. Letting it, releasing some air. Onward. 
I should take a bite of this sandwich in a second here. Why did the music suddenly pick up? Like falling off a log after being startled by a wisp in Akashus. Never gonna let me live that one down, are you? It's okay, Red. I get scared by everything. So. I got scared by a <laughs> tear running through you. Oh, they're chilling. I am on the way, don't worry. Did I pick this up? No, I guess not. Oh, that's just a torch. Thank you. Never go wrong with picking up other people's satchel. Oh! I played this yesterday and I feel like I just forget controls. Sounds like a child. Like a 13 year old. Sounds like he's giving them hell. Should probably be running. But, you know, goodies. Chess first. Chess first, then helping people. Hey, dude. I'm here. Good luck to me. He's beating my ass. Oh, shit. Stop it. Let's go. I'm fine. Stop forcing. Oh, it's not a little girl. I mean, it's not a little boy. It's a little girl. A timely arrival. You'll be Haskell's banishers. Thank you. Thank you both. You can see. Clear as day. Just as I can see. This is my husband. Not I little. Not little. And Thea Duarte. This is my partner, Red McGrath. She's just it's tiny. That the living can see the lingering dead. All I know is one day I woke after seven long years of grief and uh. Sebastian was back. It was as if my prayers had at last been answered. That was enough for me. In times of danger, I am duty bound to protect the woman I love. You understand? Hmm. I feel like I could ask why I come back now, but it kind of makes sense. The Fort Jericho is under attack, so. But maybe that's also a little grim. Why not? Let me just ask. What was it like for you? After I'm gonna take a bite of my sandwich here. Floated outside of time without knowing what was happening to me. Floating outside of time? Yes. Exactly it. True love finds a way. 
That's all that matters. Sorry, muted so I could open. Yeah, I know. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, yeah. Andrew White sent us. He thought you might be in trouble. Plainly, you needed your guardian angel. We needed more than one. Thanks to you, we'll resupply the camp. What Matthews do you mean? and Williams did not die in vain. This was a risky expedition. But Helen had no choice. If the survivors were to rely on Pennington alone, the fort would have already fallen. Mm. I suspect that's so. Sometimes difficult choices must be made. That's courage. All the courage in the world will be worthless if those in command won't match it. Mm. Pennington did this while monsters relentless besieged the fort. But make no mistake. What does can someone look at Dithers? If he has one. How so? Seven years ago, a plague came to New Eden. Pennington quarantined the sick in the mines, walled them up. They were dark times. Hard times. None knew what the morrow would bring. We all lost. Dither. D I T H E R. A second in command. Sebastian volunteered to stay. Walled in with the others, he held out the longest. He died a hero. Mm -hmm. And now the Forsaken are rising. They demand revenge. Who would blame them? I watched them die. Soldiers and miners, sick and hungry, begging for help they knew would never come. Captain Pennington has much blood on his hands. Hmm. Hmm. I feel like it goes both ways here. Commanding is difficult. Sometimes you both, but the ch point of being in command is to have to be able to make those difficult decisions. So you can't be indecisive. So you ha you literally can't. Think of uh, Thick Skin, for example, made the hard choice because she had to. I guess maybe she didn't have to, but she did what she did. She made the choice. And she lived with it. You can't... You can't sit there and watch shit happen and then make a choice. You have to make a choice. That's the point of being in command. That's why you're in command. So you have my sympathy. I'm sorry. You've been through a lot. We have. We are, and will persist till we prevail. We should get back to the fort. We will escort you. After I look around, of course. I'm afraid I locked us in when I broke the latch. If there's a way out, we'll find it. Facts. If you hear the crunk crinkling of my sandwich, it's just that. Where did I come from, though? Up there, right? Can this be moved? I don't think so. I'm looking to see if there's anything. Oh. <coughs> Sorry. Lock looks broken. I doubt that gate will <coughs> ever open again. Is it telling me I can go either way? Because I'm assuming I can break that too, yeah. Maybe not to make you angry. Oh, okay. This is just. This is just goodies. Impressive. You banishers are quite something. I saw her. I'm just the help. <laughs> Here, wait. Get another sip. <laughs> A 
Vanisher marched with my father's infantry. Good for morale, he said. Soldiers usually carry their ghosts with them. War is good for our business. <clears throat> I take it that's how you met. I know a soldier when I see him fight. I never worked for the army, but something like that. We'll come back for you, my friend. My sympathies. Should I go up there? Should I not go up there? Should I go up there? Should I not go up there? Should I go up there? Should I not go up there? Should I go up there? Should I not go up there? This is why I cannot be in command. I'm gonna go up there. You should you should stay with Helen if you want to enter the fort. Fuck! Helen, can you just stick around for like a second? So I can explore. Damn it. I, I have no choice. Let go. All I don't blame you. Miserable powder boxes. How low has Pennington brought us? If you didn't like him, why did you follow him? I followed his reputation, but he's no longer the same man. Mm. What would you do in his place? I'm doing it. He sits behind his walls, waiting for them to fall, and I'm out here <laughs> fighting uh. to live. Ooh. We're fighting for our lives. The captain is in the way. These internal conflicts are a risk for the stability of the fort. A necessary risk for the survival of all. But I agree. This must end. Mm. You may leave the crates. I'll send someone back for them. Yeah, the path should be quiet. We cleared the area of the Spectre's Nest. Well, that's a relief. Follow me. That sound... scared me. <laughs> she got stuck on the wall. Now we gotta find that guy's shot. The guy who hasn't visited, visited his dead wife. The one who can now, for some reason, not uh, visit him. Alright, let me in! White! Open the gates! Priest! What are you lot waiting for? Open the gates! Open them! Go talk to Pennington. Make him understand, if you can. I can try. Where can I find him? He hides in his office. You'll find him there. Hmm. Okay, wait. Before I do that, the... our bed. Side quest and main quest. Let's do the side Others. quest. Or... Williams and the other chap. Matthews. We were ambushed. They fell. May God have mercy on their souls. There's ammo oh. in the elevator. Send Shepard and Abbott to bring it Wait. back. I'm gonna get my... Er... That! I'm gonna say fireplace. The fire. The home. The save point. Safe point. The place. Open! The flip. The reason why it's locked. Do I have to talk to Pennington first? Is that... Why? Hmm. Let me go check out the side quest then real quick. I see something. Thank you. Where is this man? How often have we been consulted? How often must we ask? Mm. I shall argue until you hear me. 
I hear you all too well. I hear a hoggish harridan, a narrow nag, a selfish shrew. One of these days, I shall poison your soup. And a day before, I'll take Maybe this was? and push you off it. Archives. Whichever records, reports, and other documents are transferred from New Eden are now locked upstairs in the armory for access to me. Maybe I can't. Oh. This doesn't look like a shop to me. I see a lot of notes, though. Oh my god, this is like the 15th Bible that we've seen. The building is ramshackle. Access upstairs is restricted. And objects falling. That looks fine to me. White's letter from Matthews. For Matthew's family, Mr. Matthews, sir, I write in the hope that someday soon you shall receive this letter in which I inform you of the sad death of your son, Elliot, killed in recent days upon the slopes of Mount Jericho. On a sortie into the wilds in search of munitions, young Matthews and his com comrades were beset by enemies. It pains me to tell you that they fell. Your son spoke often of his family, by which I mean you, his father, and most particularly Lee. <laughs> particularly his dear sister with whom he was close be both assured that Elliot died a hero yours in our shared sorrow Andrew White madam though you do not know me and I not you I am told by my commander officer that you are betrothed to young Talbot Williams of the new Eden train band a good man and brave it is sad indeed that he is dead on a sortie into the wilds in search of oh he just Oh, I thought, I thought when I was reading this sentence, I thought he was just repeating the same thing. <clears throat> on a sortie into the wilds in search of ammunition, young Williams and his comrades were beset by enemies most terrible. Last, it pains me to tell you that they fell. Oh, this, this, yeah. Okay, we shall remember young Talbot as a man always quick to volunteer, never complaining no matter the hardship imposed upon him for his service. There is not a soul in the train band who did not consider him a friend. It is kind of copied in a way. Okay. Hmm. Seems they're losing a lot of people. Where is this damn shop? A store. Ferdinando's? Let's go, Ferdinando. Party, as she would call him. Shit. Closed. <laughs> Let me. In. We in the right place. Try next door. Anyone home? No one. Papers in Miller's name. We're in the right place. Keep looking. What is this? A sansa. It's a musical instrument. Hmm. It's Bantu from Southern Africa. Interesting. Herewith, remarked and confirmed the ownership of the store heretofore known as the property of Mar Mr. Rebecca Hardgrave now passes entirely without encumbrance to Fernando Miller. Confirmed by the relevant legal authority, meaning me, <laughs> meaning me, okay, to be registered as is required when circumstances permit. Fonte reads English extensively. Well, nobody's perfect. And you. Okay, whew, the fuck is organized. Disorganized traders lose money. Piece of wood carved in the form of an amulet, but not yet finished. <laughs> Was he trying to protect himself from ghosts, maybe? He's making protective amulets. Mm. He's making useless trinkets. And he works hard to keep it away. Why? Maybe she tried to harm him. What he's afraid of. What is he afraid of? What don't we know? Let's search the store. Well, we checked in here. Oh, the bed. Spectral traces around his bed. Rebecca, I presume. Maybe he's this getting nightmares. Explain the wreath. Mm. Anything behind? 
I locked fast. Hmm. Is there a reason why I can't? Uh, maybe I need a specific uh stock to trade. Key. He hasn't unpacked it. Maybe he intends to move on. And who could blame him? Maybe I go around the other side somehow. Yeah. You see anything? No. I like these little ass puzzles. <laughs> I am strunk. I'm red. Surprisingly high quality wares. I'm protected by a tan of course. Of course I'm strong. Let's see what this reads. Ingersoll shop, luggage, jewelry box. Okay, he's registry. He's doing surprisingly well for himself. Where did he get the inventory? Hmm. Anything else here? Last will and testament. I, Mistress Rebecca Hardgrave, in town of New Eden, being of sound mind and firm intention, bequeath the Ferdinando Miller in the eventuality of my death my entire estate, including but not limited to the following items. Any and all cash money is held in my position or my business. Okay. Rebecca's will. She was rich. She left him the lot. That's where he got the inventory. No. The list matches his sales record. Hmm. Touch my money. And I'll drop you. What oh. are you doing here? Thieving, no doubt. I'm no thief, Mr. Miller. I'm the Banisher. I brought Helen Priest back to the fort. A Banisher? Thieves lie. How do you know my name? It is my You're dead, wife. Bird McCray. If you are a Banisher of ghosts, I have business for you. I'll pay. Sorry guys, I'm chomping. Give me a second. <laughs> Good. Rebecca is haunting you. I spoke to Rebecca. Tis she who haunts you. She sent me to find you. She worries for you. Says she loves you. The English have a word for that. Hogshite. What? Why bequeath you her fortune then if she doesn't love you? Hmm? If not for love, why did she bequeath you her fortune? Whichever. It matters not. You're a banisher. It is your job to get rid of her. Can you not just do your work? Easy, Mr. Miller. Now, Ooh. I'll need Maybe to he, Rebecca's he forged the will. I sold them. All of them. You did? To who? I don't know. People. I wrote it down. In the register. Read it, if you wish. Two recent sales. To the blacksmith and to Ingersoll's store. Do you think he forged it? Maybe that's why he wants us to get rid of her. Because she's... Well, she's in love with him, so... She would be more angry, right? Sorry, I'm taking a sip. You've put quite the effort into protecting your home, haven't you? Uh -huh. You poked about my house without my say-so. Hell yeah, I did. I that's what I business. do. I investigate. So out of generosity, here's the truth. None of it works. <laughs> not the wreath, not the amulet. None of it works. <laughs> Pretty though. His brooch is working. It works. <laughs> she hasn't come back. I can sleep now. Uh, 
The visits in your sleep? Yes. The visits in my sleep. I hear her calling, whispering my name. I wait to find her at my bedside. Creepy. Our eyes meet. She stares. She won't leave me alone. She's an Akishi, a demon. Banish her. I'll pay you. I need a job. I accept. Show me your shit. Your stuff looks good. Let's trade. Now, my friend, we are conversing. <laughs> you have nothing. Your words are shit. Farewell to you, Mr. Miller, sir. <laughs> I was told not to you swear. To find me. <laughs> I'm still if swearing. <laughs> I'm selling. I'm so loud. Oh, that's so bad. I do want to do this side so quest. Everything she don't. And fast. That's why I think it's saw, Santaya. Was he swiping the slate clean? Is yeah. He wiping the slate clean and moving on. If we track her things down, perhaps they'll tell us. Right. You, I'm assuming. General store. Hey, greetings. Welcome to Ingersoll's general <laughs> store. I'm Bathsheba Ingersoll, the owner. Hi, what Bathsheba. Can I get you? I'm gonna call a you Bath. Perhaps. <laughs> Very funny. Red McCree, I'm pleased to meet you. Oh, please get the comb. <laughs> Why? His hair is done up. What do you mean? Let me just see your shit first. Shall we trade? I think his oh, hair looks think nice. Should, sir. What interests you? We'll see. We'll see. Um. <clears throat> mm, damage dealt by red and has increased up to 20% of the lower the lower the spirit gauge hitting an enemy with the rifle stock attack reloads oh rifle weak spot damage is increased manifestations damage is increased by 100% but cooldowns that's not good this But I don't really hit them with my stock, though. What do I currently have? Hitting any of the third punch attack stores. Stores six spear points. Right, so I can keep hitting them. I like that more. Amulet. Defeating an enemy with punch attack restores 20 spear points. Three point skins, eleven resistance, thirty wisdom, persistence. Gives me life and strength and dexterity. Unless Well, this could be good. Better than what I currently have. It helps both of them if I'm low health. This just restores spirit points, which this already does. And strength would be good. Because Ante is pretty strong. Hmm. But. No, I think I kind of want it. Let me get it. Alright. What about his thing? Ferdinando Miller sold you a few things recently, right? May I have a look? You may, yes. Though I doubt they'd be much use to you. Unless you've got a knack for art. Mr. Miller mostly sold me paintings. You can't miss them, they're the only ones I have. Tell me about yourself. Tell me about your store. Tell me about you. The original Ingersoll's in Boston was grand and fine, but it burned in the North Square fire of 91. We moved to New Eden with Nathaniel, but before Natty could return home, my husband died. Then came the curse, and now here we are. Welcome to Ingersoll's of Fort Jericho. I never wanted to do anything else. My husband was prosperous and affluent. I was young and clever. 
We made an excellent match. He taught me everything I know. The store is my business. My legacy. <coughs> my story. It is who I am. I don't like running a store. I love it. Hmm. Alright. I'm gonna take another sip, sorry. Girls gotta eat. I must take my leave. And my right. God go with you. Let's check out these things. First, let me just do this and switch it to the one that I bought. Um, I want to upgrade, but I can't yet because of a... Uh... I can't access the British? fireplace yet. The what? Not the fireplace. I'm not our ghost die, though. Let's try the forge. The fire! Hmm. <laughs> Both locked, okay. Forge. What? This is not not it. Is it the burping? Is the burping too much? What about it? Maybe I, I hear it, but I can't get into these places. Maybe I can uh, ask her? Vanish up. No, never mind. I must take my leave. What do you mean? You do come again. I'm drinking soda. I, I legitimately cannot help it. Oh, try the forge. Oh, the other guy. Okay. Where are you? You may be. I love how you just walk into people's house. Houses. Let's see what this is say. A note? Let's see. Joseph. I received the things you owed me. They're good. I thought you a liar. It seems you are not. Rebecca's slave. Oh. Oh. Ferdinando was not satisfied with his dead mistress's fortune. By Pennington's order, he's a free man now. Oh. And a merchant to boot. This shite shall be the end of us, mark me. Anyways, we are quits, you and I, until next we shuffle cards in the barrack with the men. I'll fleece you then once more. Ferdinando was a slave. She was his owner. Wow. He wants a clean slate. He wants a clean slate. Tabula rasa. We know where to go. The barrack room. I wonder. Where are the barracks? Is this the barracks? That quill. Bent, that's what we're looking for. Okay, I'll check it out in a second. Let me just see if there's anything else. Another Bible. <laughs> the 16th one I've found so far. <laughs> like, why keep me reading it? <laughs> you know? I just keep. I, anything I see that I can interact with, I interact with. <laughs> but I just think it's really funny that, I, that you still can interact with those. My dearest Cotton, I know it's been a long time and I know you asked me not to write to you anymore, but you broke my heart the day you asked me to stop contacting you. I shall try one last time. I'm sorry to learn about your health, and I hope you'll recover soon. Errol and I have a little girl. I know you never accepted my love for him, but we are happily married. We named our child Mary like our beloved grandmother. We live in a beautiful little house. We have a cow and seven chickens, and Errol has found work as a blacksmith. 
It is not an easy life, but we have food on our table and fire in our hearth. I feel happy and loved, and I would like to feel the same. I will try to send you some money until we hear from you. Your worried sister, Waverly. Hmm. I'm surprised I can't open that box, though. Sickness of a soldier. Shadows start to sing. The sky is falling. The day turn into n the days turn into nights. The specters are at my door. I hear them clawing at the gates. I can run, but I know I'll never escape. The shadows are my friends. I hear them calling out my name. I'm a living shell with no soul, just a ghost haunting his own house. I walk towards death, breathing my last breath. Mother used to say, death is only her horizon. I used to be afraid, but now I'm ready for my sun to set. Ooh. Death is only a horizon. I used to be afraid, but now I'm ready for my sun to set. Okay. Okay. We're pretty good. Sad, but really good. My sweet Ethel, some of my comrades are sick. I can do nothing for them, squeamish as I am. Matthew spent the night at the nurse's side, carrying spew in buckets. A good man, though he speak little. I am cold, I am hungry, I am tired, and there's fighting yet to do. Your Talbot. Oh. He died. From the earlier letter that we read. With the death of Private Forbury, according to Forbury's wishes and toward his military exploits during the Battle of Bloody Brook, Teddy the Shadow is appointed to be the owner of Forbury's late properties, including his rifle. May the Shadow carry the spine gun with honor. Hmm. A strong memory clings to this place. Hmm. Is that her writing the will, maybe? I probably recognize my name in the list. Distant family, but I can't disinherit them. I would never ask you that. To have met you is already more than I ever expected. If I was to lose you, God forbids, I cherish all that reminds me of you. This is confusing. <sighs> if you were to lose me, all that I own would now be yours. Do you think she genuinely loved him? Me he claimed not to love her. Why lie? Maybe he didn't lie? Maybe he didn't lie. Maybe he pretended to love her. Maybe. Let's see what he has to say about it. Hmm. Because maybe she genuinely loved him. Is it possible that he, although he was a slave, maybe she was getting him out of... I mean, he didn't. she didn't have to own him, though, but maybe he already was a slave and she bought him to get him away from that? I'm not sure. Did he love her? But it was... Mm, but he sold all... He did lie to her. I don't know. That's really... That's actually really interesting. Yes, I will confront him. I'm very curious as to what he has to say about that. Wait, I see thing. I see thing. I'm hoping that I can use the fireplace. Oh, uh, use the fireplace. Not the fireplace. What the fucking fire? Whatever. Once, um, I talked to Pennington. Oh, just. Ooh. Another thang, another thang for more thangs. You feel me? Thang for more thang. Uh. Oh. Damage taken is reduced by 20%. The spirit points gains. Just... Nyeh. 
Nyeh. That's me saying, nah. Oh! I'm back here. Okay. Okay, remind me. Oh, uh, this house, this house. He's in here still, maybe? Punisher? You didn't share a Rebecca because was in love with you. The feeling was not mutual. True? I was her pet. A dog nuzzling its master, hoping she might loosen its leash. Okay. She loved me, she said. I allowed her to think I loved her back. I sat up and begged and let her pet me. I was a very good boy. Uh, you gold her then took advantage. To a slave, a crumb of freedom tastes like a loaf. You'd have mm. done no different. And I do the same again. Yep. It makes sense. I don't blame him. So, yeah, he did pretend. It makes sense. Makes sense. And you faked your feelings for Mr. Sargrave. You gained much more than freedom. Rebecca made you rich. As she lay dying, Rebecca Hargrave gave me my freedom. Before that, I was her slave. And he would have very romantic. kept being her slave. If it weren't for the captain, the good people of New Eden would have let me die too. Enough chitter chatter. Perhaps you should get back to work. What am I paying you for? I guess it's not that easy. You gotta I'm a banisher, it out. Mr. Miller. Not a rat catcher. What's going on? Ghosts were human. They're emotional. Full of hopes and fears about the past and the future, too. To find out what ties the ghost to the living and end the haunting, I must know the story. You want me to finish the job? Then the story must be told. The ghost must manifest. I do not like this idea. This idea can shit itself six times by sundown. Come on, break the brooch, and let's get it over with. No choice remains. I will banish her. Let it be done. He doesn't deserve and to be. And I'll be done with it! Be. It's like... Marty, you're here at last! Step no closer! Do you I will banish her, yeah. To see me. Now, Punisher, end this. I will. Not now. You need to hear the truth, both of you. That reminds me. <laughs> Rebecca, you omitted to tell us that Ferdinando was your slave. That you owned him. I loved him. I was a slave. But he was I was not free to leave. What kind of love is that? What are you saying? We loved each other. Love? <gasps> no. I told my master what she wanted to hear. I gulled her with a lie. I thought you a fool. But no, you believed me because you wanted to. Yet you didn't believe me, did you? Not entirely. That's why you never freed me. I loved you, and you loved me. It's not but, but a piece, a piece of, paper, of paper, bro. A piece of paper. It's property. Are you kidding me? A guarantee. I needed a guarantee. <laughs> you Sorry. Don't know what that's love not is. funny, but that's. You know oh my God. fear. You fear had been undesired, being unnoticed, being alone. True love requires you to let go. The time to give this love story an ending. Bye. Easy. Bye. Rebecca Hardgrave, you are blinded by your emotions. You cannot see the harm you do. How can love be harm? You owned him, you, you fuck. You imposed your love on someone who could not refuse it. Exactly. It was just another chain with which to bind him. Exactly. I only wanted him to be happy. Treating no, him like didn't. a pet. 
You wanted him mm -hmm. to be yours. Life to the living, death to the dead. Death to the dead. Do all that you will with her shit. My I don't care. Master at last. You understood. I misjudged you. Thank you. Take this for your trouble. I don't want his money. To be honest. I don't need his money. I'm just glad that he no longer has that looming over his shoulder. Fuck her. Okay, now we go to Pennington. I'll take his money. Okay, I wonder if he's up. He must be up there. Yeah, it seems everybody in the fort is not happy with Pennington and his command. Ooh, what does it say? Archives. Oh, yeah. Captain Pennington. Is taking a toll. No time, no time at all. Captain Pennington, sir. Ooh, what about the painting? And Taya, tell me. Mr. McGrath, you live. He looks. There's work to be done. Tired. Work. You had work, a mission, to bring one last glimmer of hope, to gladden our hearts before the pit takes us all. You secretive bastards haven't helped. The job is done. There's no more hope and little enough time. So you give up. All that remains is the pit. What is that? To the last stand, McGrath. Welcome to the end. I wouldn't surrender just yet, Captain. I found Helen Priest. We brought supplies. A waste of effort on both accounts. Hardly. Even the lives? You saved the life. Resupplied, you may save more. For the sake of what? For the sake of days? A week, perhaps? It's a point of hope. You save no one. You prolong the terror. The dead will come. Our throats will feel their bony fingers soon enough. The end is inevitable. It is if you will not act. It is if you will not act. You're the officer. Take command. Surely you can't intend to do nothing. You sound like Priest. She has changed. Her return to Fort Jericho has made her impulsive irrational quarrelsome i believe she did not fully grieve her husband's loss returning to the scene as it seems reopened the wound it festers she'll join the lieutenant soon enough for now the fences crumble at the last the pit shall take us all let's talk about the retreat Fair to say your tactical uh. retreat from New Eden Town has not served you. The town was doomed to fall to the curse. We disagreed on everything. There was nothing left to do but leave. I'm so s cold. We did not know there'd be no escape. Millsmith gathered the board and the governor let the affair flock to him. We never agreed on anything in the first place. The new smiths are holed up in the woods, planning soon to leave for Boston. They may leave for Boston, but the curse will follow. The curse will follow until their backs are against the wall. And how do things stand here? How do things stand, Captain, as you see them? Uh, little has changed. The dead flood from the mines. We shoot them down and gain respite. Soon, the onslaught begins anew. 
The clock of our extinction ticks on towards the hour. We may no more defeat the dead than we may vanquish the ocean waves. You have to at least try, man. You must at least try. We lack much, yet we are still alive. How is that, do you think? We owe to a last. We resist. Hello, till retribution rises from the pit <laughs> and drags us all to hell. Well, that's something worth waiting for. I fail to see the appeal of this slow agony. Now <laughs> Because thanks to you, his hairline. <laughs> the agony will be all the slower. That guy's hairline goes crazy. <laughs> Permission to take my leave, Captain. Making fun me too, did. then. <laughs> Good English. Are you trying to recruit me, Captain? Do you really think I'd take the king's shilling? <laughs> if I were to offer enough shillings, I'm sure of it. I need no new lieutenants. But if you wish. You may stay. This key unlocks the unused watchtower. You'll build it while you're here. Thank you. Now I can use the the safe place. The safe, the home. And Ted, can you tell me what you saw in this picture, though? I'm really curious. I don't know what's worse, having a hairline like that or dating someone with it. On the one hand, a captain beaten by the world. On the other, his rival haunted and mutinous. In a fort besieged by vengeful spectres. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I didn't get to... <laughs> all the shit, Listen. Something, else. something darker. Fucking... Oh my god. <laughs> she can't see your hairline, she's three saves. Uh, relevant but irrelevant. At work the other day, my coworker was like, Gabby, the, the, you need to refill the beans. And it's this, like, uh, it's attached to the espresso machine, right? Which is like behind a stack of like uh sleeves and i'm like girl like in front of me all i see is the stack of sleeves like i can't see beyond that i'm too short i can't see that it's not filled oh why did i go in here I can only see so much at this height, okay? So now I should be able to go up here. Guys, come on. People's genetics. Stress. Could be worse. Could be underground. In effect, someone's hair like that, okay? Like, it's another Bible. I save my hair when I shave so I can glue it back on my head. I didn't know that. Next time I'll have to pull harder then. Alright. Time to upgrade! <laughs> Ayo! <laughs> Get ball hair? <laughs> Got ball hair. <laughs> uh, okay. Oh, I have one of both. Okay, crazy. Damage dealt by Antea is increased by 25%, but damage taken by attainment. I, Antea, no, we don't want the, re we don't want more damage on ourselves. Leap damage is increased by 150%. Ooh. While the banish gauge is full. Hmm. We gotta get this one. And can I? Oh, I can't. I can get one more of these, I think. Finishing an enemy restores 20% health reduction. Switch to right after hitting an enemy with the rifle stock. Eh. 
I don't use it. Hitting an enemy with Antea feels rifle. Oh, I can only have one. Mm. Oh, one of these. Push Antea right after I parry to trigger a punch attack. I could try that. Rifle has hits. Refill the vanish gauge. Weak spot hits with the rifle refill. Hmm. Damage dealt by Alpha Reflex Search Towers. We'll get that one. So, what am I supposed to do? After a parry, switch. After a parry, I switch. After a parry, I switch. That one. Yes! Ooh, we can still upgrade. Let's go! Nice. This is the only one that hasn't been... A oh no, it has been. Anything else? No. Look at us! It's going crazy. Almost full on this one. Right. It is simple. Mm hmm it, And I like that I'm, like, compared to Neo, for example, I'm not getting, like, 6,000, like, inventory items to choose from. Like, it's just a few here and there. Granted, the options to me haven't been outstanding. But honestly, it's better than being bombarded with, like, way too many options and having to sort through that. All I gotta do is collect resources and I can just upgrade everything, you know? What's the... Wait. Wait. Oh. Rest. Alright, let's take a sleep. 